What you just watched was a $10 million research project. Are you sharing it with science communities at research institutes? Yeah, so we've, we've had a real interesting run there. Our scientists, a lot of them are at ag universities. Does everyone know the history of US ag universities? Do you guys, is that known? Abraham Lincoln signed it into law during the Civil War so that agriculture could be studied and made better. And obviously it's been co-opted by big companies since that time. And so they run a lot of the research on all the ag universities. So the scientists on our team who were at those ag universities kind of let this be owned by my university as opposed to theirs, which I, I, I noticed subtly. It was like, this is an ASU project, Arizona State University. Arizona State University is not an ag university. I don't think I could have gotten this off the ground if it was. There are scientists at every ag university and the USDA, our Department of Agriculture, who get this, who know this is happening, who support this, and then there's others who don't. I met a journalist once. I read his articles and it sounded like he wasn't really into this. He didn't think it would have scale. And I called him up and we got to talking and I found out that he actually was a bit more into it than he was allowed to write. And then he told me this one thing, I'm sure you guys have heard this, but uh, change happens one funeral at a time. And I was like, all right. That's dark. <laughs>